Good morning, it's the Zipper Lady, and I would like to introduce you to the Zipper Jig, or the Zipper Genius, some people call it. It is an easy third hand to hang on to your zipper pull, or your zipper head, so you can actually apply it to your tape. And it has a clamp that goes on your table, so your ta table goes here, and then this clamp rolls this up and down, so that if you're sitting down, you can shorten it, and if you're standing up, you can raise it. And I'm going to put it on the table, and then I'm going to take it out so you can sh uh, see me apply the actual zipper head. Anyway, let me give you a quick tutorial about heads. And um, there are roughly three types of zipper. Um, this one is a nylon coil. This one is a nylon coil, and this one is a nylon coil. So what you've got is, is you've got a size 3 or a 3 millimeter across the closed teeth, a 5 or a 5 millimeter across the closed teeth, or a 7, and it's 7 millimeters across the closed teeth. So they're all a different size, but they all work the same. They're all a nylon coil, and a nylon coil is basically turned around like a, uh, a slinky and then sewn on to the tape. And you can see the stitching on this. So the nylon is actually sewn on. This one is electroplated. And so what that means is, is that they've taken a, a nylon and they've made it look like it's metal by the electroplating. And I have, this is copper, this is silver. I have all kinds of these. These are really fun. And they're on my website, thezipperlady.com. This one is a number five molded tooth. And a molded tooth is pressed onto the tape this way and molded into individual teeth. This is symmetrical, so it's the same amount from the top as the bottom of the tape. So these are split, the teeth are split evenly. And why that matters is, is the head. This is the head. And notice how wide it is up at the top. This is also a molded tooth head. A little bit different, but this is the wide part. But if you look at the side, see how the slot is even? That's because when you put the teeth through it, it's the way the teeth are applied to the tape that they go evenly through that slot on the side. Okay, this is a non-locking head, which means that if you put this on, and they're great for bags, by the way, you put this on, you can open and close it easily um, on your tape, and it doesn't stick. Now, this is a auto-lock. There's a little spring in the bridge, which is where the pull is, and when you quit pulling on the pull, there's a little pin that goes down into the zipper, and it keeps it from moving back and forth. This is much better on kiddos' jackets, your jacket, uh, something you don't want to open and close really a lot. Now this is a metal pull. Notice the difference in the, the uh, shoulders. Um, this is a molded tooth. This is a metal. And this goes on a metal zipper. See this, this shoulder right there? That's what you're looking for with a metal zipper. And then this is an auto lock for a coil. And notice first that the slot down the middle on the side is not in the middle. And that's because when you look at a coil zipper, normally it stands higher than the tape. And so when it goes in, you have to have that little bit of adjustment so that you can actually make the pull go on. And so the pulls for molded tooth, coil, and metal zipper are not interchangeable. Sometimes you can make them go and it just is irritating um, long term. Now this is a piece of metal zipper and so this is a molded tooth. This is considered a tooth zipper. And if you get really, really close, 
you can see that there is a cone at the top of the, the tooth and then there's a divot on the underneath side. That's how you know it's metal and it'll only go on one way. So now you've got the three types of zipper. The heads go on virtually the same way. So what I'm going to do is first is I'm going to put the first, the metal one on first. And using the zipper jig, you use it upside down. So when you put this in, I'm going to try and get as close as I can. So here are the tines of your zipper jig. They go on either side of the bridge. Can you see that? And all you want to do is just hold it on there. It doesn't have to be pretty. And the wider side has to be out because this is the open side and this is the closed side of the zipper head. Because metal zipper is made differently than a coil and molded tooth, I'm going to try and get in as close as I can. There we go. So you can kind of get an idea. The metal teeth will only go in one way. And so if you open it up and you try to slide it in and it doesn't go, simply turn around, whoopsie, turn it around and use the other end. And the reason is, is that the cone has to be up or out. And you just push it through. And then pull it off of the zipper jig. Uh, for this yummy coil, again, you're going to use it upside down. You're going to put the tines on either side of the bridge, just like we did with the last one. I'm going to push it down just a hair rounded side away from you. Now remember this one has to be because you just turned your head upside down your zipper has to be upside down also. And you're going to go in on an angle and try to push it down the slots that are on the sides of the zipper head. Oop. Just like that. Now you've got a little bit of a loop here so we can fix that. We're just going to go back in and see if we can get it not to have a loop in it. And that is how you get them in evenly into those slots. And you want to move them up and down just a little bit so that they'll mesh. Aha! Perfect. Okay, so now you should be able to do this really easily, right? Now I'll show you zipper tricks. So now we're going to use the same, but we're only going to use half of the zipper. Here's the head. Head is upside down, pull, dangling. And we're going to use one piece. See how it's a loop? Turn it upside down and slide it in. And now your zipper head is on one side of the zipper. This is what I do in my bags that I call It's Just a Rectangle. I use half of it, and then I don't have as many seams. And here is a number three, and a number three works just the same. And my old hands, personally, this is the hardest one for me to do. But again, if you look at it, it's made just like all the rest of the guys. It's wider on this side, so this is the innie. And this is the Audi. Slide it down on either side. So you can see me. See, this is the bridge right in the middle. Going down the sides of the zipper jig. Turning this tape over also. And pushing. And you just have to give it a couple little jiggles so that everything meshes. And there you have it. 
that's all from the zipper lady today. I'm getting ready to go to Puyallup to the show next week, the end of February. And I will have zipper jigs with me. I will also have forks with me so you can see the fork trick. And I will also be demonstrating how to just put the zipper pulls on with your fingers if you don't have arthritis. But they, I do have these with me. The show opens on Thursday morning at 8.30. And I hope to see you there. Ta for now.